right, next up, we're going to talk Blue Jackets here a little bit. Aaron Port's yeah. line of The Athletic writing an article over the weekend suggesting the Jets, Leafs, and Bruins could all be in on David Savard, plus the Blue Jackets could get a first-round pick in that deal. Now, that's according to Aaron Port's line. What, what, what's the temperature of that rumor? If it's you? a first-round pick, I'm going to say it's very, very cold. Uh, I'm just not giving up a first-round pick for a, you know, a guy that can help my team but who is really kind of a, a middle to back end defender, right shot guy, plays, plays hard, but not a great skater at this point of his career. What is the value of a first round pick this year at this deadline? Depends where range he's picked in. So there's, okay. there's actual True. values. When you yeah. say value, do you mean what is the dollar value or what is the No, like what is it worth this year in this market with yeah. with things that are on the horizon and the flat cap and the expansion draft? Like what how valuable it definitely is gets a first a round premium pick? is your point. Is it worth more is what you're asking? Yes, and than nor than normal. The, the answer is yes. There's some teams, some teams that are talking negatively about the value. Everybody ha is talking about how it fits their situation. Other teams are talking about first-round picks are worth more than ever because the scouting has been all over the place this year, and we haven't seen guys. Yeah. And if you're a really good organization, you're going to take advantage of that. You might have a 20th pick and get a guy that's in the top 10 or vice versa. So whatever narrative fits your purview is what teams are going with. In the end, I think it's more valuable. I think first picks, first round picks are definitely more valuable this year. Well, I'll take chaos any time to make money, yeah. and everybody's trying to make money essentially. Would you trade a first rounder for Zavard? Uh, would I? Would I? I would not. Yes. Okay. So the question was what? Toronto, Winnipeg, yeah. and Boston. Winnipeg, Winnipeg is the closest one to me to do it, but even yeah. them, I don't know. And they're probably a no. Toronto, you're our Toronto representative. Are you trading it first? You are in that community. No. A second. Okay. I would give you a second. You're, you're I'm dead wrong. It Toronto will trade it first tomorrow. Oh, they will. I'm yes. saying if I'm yeah. Kyle Dubas, yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah. But I'm telling you that Kyle Dubas will. will. I tend oh, to I agree with you lots for the I believe he will. Is that the most likely destination for Savard? Or what is? We no, heard Elliot Freeman on the show that that earlier talking about Tampa. In my opinion, behind the curtain that the fans don't get to look at right yeah. now, the Columbus Blue Jacks are sitting there going, we got Toronto on the board at a first. Yeah. But let's look at where they are in the standings. Yeah. Let's try to push that up. That's the game that goes on. That's what happens behind closed doors. Now, you, a team like Winnipeg, who's technically right there with Toronto, yeah. they value their picks more. Their strategy is different. They don't have the enormous wealth behind them the way MLSC well, well, does. Well, the last thing I'll say on it is both the teams, in the, I think the teams in the north are more likely to pay that, that for him than others because they probably both think they have a great chance to win that division and then be in the Final Four this year. And if you're the Jets or the Leafs, that would be a huge step forward. So maybe but isn't that willing. the game, EJ, if you're yeah. Yarmo Kikalainen, you're sitting there going, I got Toronto other. over there and I got Winnipeg <laughs> over here, and you're just tossing softballs yeah. into both of them. Who's going to go to Toronto? You don't want him to go I'm to sorry. Toronto, do you? No, no, you don't. Well, we're going to find that's out what's potentially just how much teams are willing to pay for David Savard yeah. in the next yeah. seven days trade deadline. Our bell of the ball. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. A week less than a full week away.